growing up, I was definitely told I wasn't even attractive, solely because I was Asian. And a lot of Asian men have a hard time with that. We do want to be seen as sexy. We want to be seen as attractive. I'm Kevin Kreider. I'm a model and I am a lifestyle coach. Racially, I identify myself as Korean American. I was bullied a lot for it, taunted for having slanted eyes, and people made noises at me, and ching chang chong, and did karate chops. I definitely hated being Asian American. It felt like a death sentence. Girls wouldn't even dance with me because they just weren't into Asian guys. I wanted to be white growing up, and I remember actually praying and saying, why did you make me Asian? Why couldn't I be white? <laughs> you adopted Kevin when he was three years old, and you were pregnant at the time. Yes, yes, and he didn't speak English. Oh my God, he's so adorable. He still is. I never felt like I was attractive enough, cool enough, white enough. <laughs> so I started working out, building my body, because I thought I would stop getting picked on, and I thought girls would find me more attractive. <sighs> Working out was the start of your path to modeling. Absolutely. Two thousand fourteen was what I would call my rock bottom moment. Just keep losing more hair. Lost my health. I lost my hair. Alopecia areata. That was stress induced. That was totally stress induced. To cover up my rock bottom and the feelings I was feeling at the time, I turned to drugs, I turned to alcohol, I turned to food. The way I got out of it is I took a skateboard trip across America, thinking that would fulfill me in so many ways, but I got the benefits from it when I came back to Philadelphia. Which when you was came home? When I came home. And I got better, got, took care of my health, worked out, went into a recovery program. You're sober three years today. Yeah, today That's I'm awesome. officially sober for three years. Oh my God. I told you it was gonna be sooner than later. <laughs> my experiences I realize can help other people. And going through that, it also lets them know that they're not alone. Kevin definitely changed my life. I feel like I'm such a happier person. Understanding that it's your spirit, your mind, and your physical body all need to be in sync with each other we can redefine what being an Asian male is for us. I've been doing a lot of stuff in the Asian American community because I, I can identify the struggles that they have that they might be too afraid to speak about. I've done TED Talks, I've done things for Huffington Post, I'm doing this with you. I've done a documentary, it's called The Ugly Model Doc. There's a joke, there can only be one of you, you're the token Asian, and you actually start to believe that. You believe that there can only be one Asian in the circle of whatever America gives you. F that, let's create our own table and let's add more seats for it, for ourselves, and hopefully elevate each other up as we go along. I used to think of it as a curse back then. A curse being Asian, cursed with my whole life. And Do you see it as a blessing now? Absolutely. Like every single time I go through something hard in my life, I realize that I might not see the blessing right now, but there's always a blessing on the other side.